The man accused of killing his three children by setting a house on fire was attacked by a fellow inmate when he was being taken back to jail after a court appearance this morning. Joseph Washington was indicted earlier this month and is facing three counts of first degree murder. And now, as Alyssa Curtis reports, the judge is working to figure out if Washington is even mentally fit to continue. Thursday morning, Joseph Washington appeared in criminal district court. He seemed apathetic as he was brought into the courtroom shackled and in an orange jumpsuit. According to Orleans Parish Sheriff's Office, as Washington was being taken back to jail, he was assaulted by another inmate. They say he's being checked for injuries. Washington is accused of sparking a raging fire on America Street while his three young kids were still inside. Earlier this month, Washington was indicted on three counts of first-degree murder and one count of obstruction of justice. Last week, Judge Nandy Campbell ordered a competency hearing. Loyola Law Professor Dan Ciolino says doctors will evaluate Washington to see if he understands what's going on. A defendant can't be forced to trial uh, if he doesn't understand the nature of the proceedings against him and... Uh, or he is unable to assist his counsel in his defense. That evaluation happened Thursday. While in court, Washington was taken back into chambers with his lawyer and doctors. He reemerged after about 30 minutes. The standard is the same, whether it's a misdemeanor case or a heinous uh, multi-murder, first-degree homicide case like this. Um, it's all about whether or not he can understand the nature of the proceedings and assist in his defense. It's not a very high bar, but it is a bar that is set by the United States Constitution. If he's deemed incompetent, the proceedings will be put on hold. His next court date is April 11th, and the Sanity Commission is expected to have their report on Washington's competency then. In New Orleans, Alyssa Curtis, WWL, Louisiana. Washington's girlfriend, Shanika Phillips, is also facing charges for allegedly helping him escape after the fire. According to court documents, she is not bonded out of jail.